Let's pick a book out. Okay. Hi, I'm Lucy Johnson. I live in Westport. I've lived in Westport for 15 years. I love reading and I love listening to books and I love listening to music and I want to share some of that with you. Aha. Frankie. My favorite. I have to start off with Frankie. Whether it was Nelson Riddle or after or September of my years or anything, he's he's the guy. So have to have to have Frankie and Itzhak. This is a special edition of Itzhak Perlman. Now we honored him this year at Books for the Evening, and he was and is and will always be just the he's certainly the greatest living violinist and maybe the greatest violinist of of his generation. So check it out. I do a lot of listening to books and certainly not a lot of reading of books. And David Sedaris, this is one of his books, is absolutely one of my favorites. He's funny, he's smart, he just captures an idea of everyday life so wonderfully and I had the pleasure of seeing him in concert a couple of years ago and this is one of his collections and it's just delicious. Speaking of wonderful reads, anything by John Grisham. I know he has a new book coming out, but this was one of his more recent, and it's a almost a continuation or a sequel of one he wrote 20 years ago. And he is a master storyteller and gets into pretty good depth with the law and his characters. And this one has a lot of uh, social context meaning to it, and I highly recommend this. But I also, anything by John Grisham. I love television. I love television. I not only worked in it for umpteen years, but I love watching it. I've rediscovered all the British mysteries and detective shows. And this series, it's, I think there are six seasons of it, called Line of Duty, is really, really good. It's about a unit of one of the police departments where they're trying to find the bent cops and checking up. So they're kind of going after what we think are innocent cops, but they find the, the Achilles heel and they bring them to justice. But it's really, really smart and well-written and well-acted. You'll recognize the actors. Don't get put off by the accents. It's OK. Goodbye Girl, which was a Neil Simon movie from many years ago, is still holds up as a wonderful, wonderful rom-com now. They didn't call that then, but they call it now with Richard Dreyfuss and Marsha Mason. It's a wonderful movie and just funny and you can escape and worthy for adults. Gabriel Byrne wrote a memoir in this past year and it's called Walking with Ghosts. Now, Gabriel Byrne is really cute, and he's a really good actor. He's an Irish actor, and you've seen him for years and years and years. And um, this memoir is not just a chronological, and then this happened and this happened, it's, or is it a lot of behind the scenes stories of his movies? It's something really great depth to it about politics and his life. And I remember walking on Lexington Avenue one day and he was walking towards me. And I mean, I got, I, there's nothing I was gonna say and I wasn't gonna stop him, but it was, oh boy, Gabriel Byrne. So I just ate this up, I loved reading it. This is Trevor Noah's memoir called Born a Crime. And you might recognize him from television that that's where you would know him from. And he grew up in South Africa at a very political time and he's also very funny. And I listen to a lot of audiobooks when I walk, and I walk in the mornings two, three miles a day if I can. And I really remember it was hot, hot, hot summer, whether it was this past summer or the summer before, it all melts together. But this was so entertaining and so important to listen to because it was from a vantage point that we don't usually get or, or meet people who have experienced this. But it's charming, and um, I walked faster because of it. Thank you. Thank you, Trevor. Ooh. Heavy, heavy book, John Singer Sargent. I get physically moved when I see a Sargent painting, usually of watercolor. I've been to every exhibit in America and even in England that I can get to that's of his original works. 
Oh my goodness. His, his capturing a moment, I can't begin to tell you what his artistry and his portraiture and his, um, he was commissioned and his water, his watercolors for me especially because I do paint and I do watercolor and I am in awe of what he can do with a brush and a simple stroke and create a whole life on water. So if you're going through the art books, look through John Singer's Sargent. Fabulous. I'm not gonna say I saved the best for last, but I certainly saved what's very important to me. I guess you could put this in music history or memoir, because it's a memoir wrapped in a memoir. And it's my book that just got published, introducing, reintroducing my dad's book about his 17 years playing first violin under the famous legendary conductor Arturo Toscanini. So it's my dad's memoir with my own memoir pieces wrapped around his chapters. And um, there are some beautiful photographs from, uh, from that time of, of the maestro conducting and um, I think you'll have a good time in it and reading it and you'll learn a little bit about music history, classical music history, and a little bit about me. I love to browse the library and I love the gift shop. I'm always getting gifts there. I'm always, I'm, in fact, today I was looking, thinking about Christmas already. And ooh, I like that scarf. And usually I end up getting everything for myself. And the cafe is wonderful. And the whole new library is a treat. And the forum, of course. So thank you. I'm Lucy Johnson. I'm at the Westport Library. And I've shared some of my favorites with you. And come check it out. Mm -hmm.